So the other day I was doing this problem called equal rectangles and basically this problem is just boils down to you have like a bunch of sides and you need to make sure that you need to check if you can actually make uh, four rectangles that have the same equal area, right? So that's what this problem was about. And what I learned from this problem is that a lot of these problems, uh, they, they actually try to make you overthink the problem and then you end up trying to do something like completely different and then you realize the solution is actually super, super easy. So what I learned from doing these problems that, um, so in, in this, in this problem, like ordinarily, if you just read this problem and you were like, okay, make equal areas, right? So I need to make four rectangles, equal areas. So I'm just going to go through every single four by brute force, every single four, um, subsets until I get to an equal area. And that's pretty difficult to do. I'm not going to lie. That's actually pretty difficult to do. So I had trouble just writing the brute force solution out because that takes time and a lot of effort. So yeah, it took me like a few submissions and then I realized like, um, this problem, I, I, and I decided, you know what, screw this. I'm just going to look at the editorial and looking at the editorial, all you had to do is just sort it, right? You just had to sort the numbers. So you didn't actually have to like brute force anything. All you had to do is sort it and then compare the first and last problem of uh, multiply first and last values until you get to the center. And then you could, you, um, just check if you had four rectangles with the same area. So what I realized a lot about competitive programming is that just don't overthink problems. You know, a lot of these problems, um, a lot of problems in division three or division two, a and two B are actually pretty easy. Um, it's just a trick that you have to figure out. Uh, if you could find the trick, you easily could solve the problem. And there's a reason why, um, a lot of the top uh, math people generally do well on these problems is because they, they define the trick very easily and then they're able to solve it. So yeah, don't, th don't overthink these problems. Sometimes they're very easy to figure out. Sometimes you, you don't even have to like go through every single possible combination. Sometimes it's super easy. Maybe you just have to sort it. Maybe you have to find, um, I don't know, maybe you have to use uh, uh, two for loops. Maybe you have to use two pointers, something around those lines. And then uh, if you could f figure out the problem, uh, you, or maybe you have to use a math equation. It's that, that's it. That's all I, there is to it. But yeah, that's all I have to say for this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I could not actually make a tutorial today. I'm so sorry. But yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.